So I'd highly recommend AquaEye for public safety diving. Um, it's a device that we can quickly deploy that greatly increases the safety of our personnel. And ultimately our goal is to provide closure to the family of any victim that's in the water. And this is a tool that will help do that uh, from the use of the echo mapping, locating vehicles underwater where traditional side scan sonar cannot be used. Uh, th this is the tool that will do that. And so far we've had great success with the aqua eye and I would highly recommend it. Yeah, my name is Stephen Byers. I'm the fire chief of Boonville, Indiana Fire Department. Um, been on our public safety dive team since 2008. Um, and so since that time, I've got to see our team kind of progress and adapt to the, the different things that we're dealing with. So our department covers approximately our primary response area is 89 square miles. Um, consists of a lot of water, rivers, creeks, lakes, stripper pits. Um, and then we also provide uh, water rescue services to the large portion of the county, <clears throat> which is nearly 400 square miles. So a lot of the water we deal with is zero visibility. I'm going to say 95% plus of the water we deal with is, is no visibility. Um, so, you know, sonar and, and the capability to be able to search bodies of water quickly uh, without having to deploy, deploy divers is critical uh, for, for our team. A lot of our response area, uh, we've got the Ohio River, uh, several creeks that, that are fairly deep and, you know, muddy with no visibility, uh, lakes. We have a lot of coal mines around here that reclaim ground as stripper pits that, you know, 50, 60, 70 feet deep. Uh, and then a lot of private lakes and, and retention ponds that are not accessible by boat, uh, large boats, and, and have private uh, drives to gain access to that are are difficult to get equipment back to. So that, that number is growing on the amount of calls that we handle each year for water rescue. Um, <clears throat> I would say right now we're probably 10 to 15 uh, calls per year for water rescues, um, but that, that number is increasing each year as we're seeing more people outside, you know, enjoying the, the uh, waterways. So the most important thing is, is number one, the safety of our team members, uh, being able to quickly get on scene, keep our team members safe so we can help the people that need help um, and having tools to quickly be able to deploy and assist us in a, in a search or recovery situation is critical in the safety of our team. So we decided to bring Aqua into our department. We had read a lot about it in Public Safety Diver Magazine um, we were kind of curious about it because the traditional side scan sonar is labor intensive. Uh, we have a smaller team of eight divers. Um, we have a smaller department. So to have that number of personnel initially arrive on scene, it's difficult for us to be able to staff all the positions that we need. So we made the decision to bring the aqua eye in to start the demo process and see how it would assist our team. And, and I'm glad we have. So once we arrive on scene now, we can make contact with any witnesses, get a last known location, and within one to two minutes have the aqua eye deployed by someone in the water and begin the search uh, while our divers finish getting ready. So if we do get a positive hit with the aqua eye, we can get divers in the water and start searching that area. Um, drastically speeds up the process compared to deploying a boat with side scan sonar where you have to have, you know, someone to run the boat, someone to run uh, run the sonar, interpret the sonar. Uh, so it's dramatically decreased the amount of time that it takes us to search and then get divers in the water to begin underwater search. So our number one priority, if we get called to a rescue uh, or recovery, is to locate the victim as quickly as possible. And if we are within that time frame, to start life-saving measures. So to be able to deploy the aqua eye as soon as we get on scene, talk to witnesses, and begin scanning the water, you know, that's critical, not only for us to do that, but for the victim that's in the water to be able to locate them quickly, get them out and start any life-saving measures that we need to. So in the past, you know, a lot of the areas that we weren't able to get a boat to, we would get divers in the water and start grid searches. Uh, again, that's labor intensive. You're putting divers through a lot of stress that they don't need to go through. Um, you're going through your, your resources very quickly. So to be able to deploy the aqua, it, it greatly increases the safety of our personnel 
by not having to keep divers in the water so long and search such large areas until we do get that positive uh, hit with the aqua eye and we can focus on one area. All of our divers have been trained on it um, and, and extensive training, going out, getting the feel for the aqua eye. So we do have it in our procedures. Um, you know, once they arrive on scene, we always try to, to find any witnesses. And then our next step is to deploy the aqua eye after we have a known location or close location to deploy the aqua eye and start our search with it. So the aqua eye straight out of the box is super simple to use. Um, it took a little while for all of our divers to get used to how to hold it. Once you figure that out, it is super simple to use uh, and you can scan a very large area in a short period of time. And again, that increases the safety of our divers by not putting them through the stress of having to search that large of an area. So we have, uh, we've done boat-based operations. Uh, we've done shore-based operations where they just wade in from the shore. Um, and then we have had divers take it down. But again, the issue we have with taking it down is our water visibility is not good at all. So for them to be able to see the screen to tell how quick they're going. So we, we have found that the boat-based and the wading in from the shore is, is the most likely use for, for our team. So we've actually, so far, we've located two vehicles with it, using it on echo mapping. Um, we have not had any uh, body uh, recovery since we've had the aqua eye, but uh, we have located a vehicle on a lake and we've located a vehicle in the Ohio River using the aqua eye in the echo mode. Um, and it just outlines it as a big white square. And then we were able, once we located that, able to get boat based sonar over the top of it and get a picture of the vehicle. I mean, we're looking forward to the winter time to be able to go out when we do the ice rescue training every year, uh, we're gonna deploy the aqua eye and use, use that in the training uh, for all of our divers to get comfortable with that. Cause again, that's another one that, that's gonna be a game changer being able to deploy that. If you do have a cold water drowning with ice on the water, uh, I mean, that's a tool that's gonna make a huge difference. I would definitely recommend aqua eye uh, to fire departments and, and public safety departments for water rescue. Uh, for the small price that you pay for the device, the uh, benefit that you get for the safety of your team and speeding up your operations is definitely worth it. Working with Doug and Vodasafe, um, we've had an open line of communication. Any questions or issues I've had, I've gotten a quick response. Uh, they've always been available. You know, if I needed to talk or ask questions, I could contact them over the phone, uh, email. So it's, it's been a really good experience dealing with Doug and Vodasafe.